down in the Texas Medical Center. And look at this, it's finished. This is the UT Health Stroke Unit. I'm here with Stephanie Parker. She's the project manager for this and also a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to be the one riding on this unit as it makes calls, correct? Correct. correct. Now, what do we have right here? This looks like this is someone's um, brain. This is an image of a patient's uh, brain that we will see as soon as the scan is done. It, we, it will push over the images and we will be able to identify if the patient's having an ischemic stroke or a hemorrhagic stroke or not a stroke at all. And if they are having the ischemic stroke or the hemorrhagic stroke, then what will happen? If they're having an ischemic stroke, we will be able to immediately administer the clot busting medication TPA. Okay. If they're having a hemorrhagic stroke, Typically, they're having very high blood pressures, and we will uh, start the nicardipine drip to bring that blood pressure down now, as fast if, as possible. Now, if you do end up administering the TPA in the field, I know during the press conference that we did with this and in conversations with Dr. Grotta, typically it takes a while for a patient to be seen, or it, as they're going through the ER, that time can be compounded potentially. The, the goal of this unit is to really reduce the time till you get the drug to the patient. What benefit is that going to have? Um, so every minute that a patient's having a stroke, um, uh, approximately two million neurons is, um, are dying. Wow. So um, t we're trying to cut off about 45 minutes of that time. So approximately uh, 90 to 120 million neurons. In, which we probably really need. Which we really <laughs> need to, so we're trying to decrease the damage that the stroke causes. Wow, that's fantastic. Ultimately. Well, let's go look around this unit and, and see what all we did on the inside. Now on the exterior, this looks very much like a standard unit. The only main difference is we stood up the oxygen instead of having a lay down O2 setup so that we could have the CT scanner on the front wall. Now, of course, you've got to get a nice picture of their striping and lettering. The UT team drew that brain for us, and uh, it's in nice burn orange colors. Hook them horns. So inside the module, we really have a typical setup, with the exception, obviously, of the CT scanner in here. So we've removed the front wall cabinets and the front inside outside compartment and this is where the Seratom unit, this is Neurologica built this. So this is a portable CT scanner. Now we've added structure into the front wall and fabricated some receiver brackets. So I know we've, we, you were showing me this earlier so we have them already undone but essentially all you're doing is pushing down and un Unlock. unlocking them. Correct. When it's in, when you're driving down the road, this thing is going to be obviously locked into place. But when it's time to do a scan, we're going to unlock them. Now we've put the adapter plate already onto the cot, but we added a little bar here and then a strap. So the adapter plate is going to sit here. It goes onto the cot, and um, I get to be the guinea pig for the, the first scan. Uh, our first patient. Yay! All right, so the adapter plate is on here. It hooks underneath the cot and so we'll cover this thing up here right and see what we find in my brain. All right. And so you're just lining me up because this is the power cot, you can move I can. it exactly where you need it. Correct. And then what are these? These are these the lead are the shields. The lead shields okay. that uh, lock the radiology tech and the others standing kind of diminishes the radiation. All right. So I don't move. The machine is move. moving on the tracks that we've installed on the floor. And that is. So now you're going to take the scan of my brain. What's going to happen to it once it's scanned? What happens then? It'll immediately go to a laptop that we have right out here, and then it will, it will be transferred to a, a telemedicine physician that it will be looking at it from the camera. Okay. Uh -huh. And also we have a physician who will be on site. They will both be looking at the scan. Okay. So as we'll scan your head, I'll come out here. And so this was really pretty fast too. The patient it's isn't very having fast. to wait. It's about, it takes about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Once these images are um, pushed over from the machine, the images will 
the telemedicine physician as well as the physician on site will be looking at the images to see if uh, a patient either has an ischemic stroke, hemorrhagic stroke, or no stroke at all. You're all done. So Great this job. Is as far as it comes over my That's head. As far as it'll go. That's so great. as far as it needs. Awesome. Your great job. Your brain looks fantastic. <laughs> And then it goes back into the locking mechanism. And then you'll lock it prior to I do. going anywhere. We will definitely lock it down. Patient safety always first. Absolutely. And gets you down off of there. And then I'm ready to go. You're all done. Well, that Good was job. Very, that was fantastic. So now this unit is going to respond to calls in about a three mile radius or 15 minutes from the medical center, correct. is that correct? That's correct. Now, how many people, other than the patient, are going to be on board this unit? We will have a paramedic, okay. a CT radiology tech to right. run the scanner, um, a licensed vascular neurologist, mm -hmm. uh, and a nurse. Okay. And then, so in addition to doing this, I take it because this is a three-year program, you're going to be doing a lot of research, taking all of the data and documenting, compiling and Correct. documenting everything. Um, Everything that we're doing, again, is standard of care, what we do sure. in the ER, so we're taking the ER to the community, uh, but we do need to show that TPA um, that does a that lot it's better, really helping and faster, and that we can get it to patients faster. This is, this is just so exciting. I'm really thrilled that you have this, and we were really glad to be a part of it, so thank you, and we can't wait for more updates and to see this thing running down the road. It's exciting. Don't forget to visit us at www.fraserbuilt.com and like us on Facebook. Thanks.